We talked a lot about and we've seen how Manhattan ravaged by Sandy, but this morning so much of the story is in fact set in the outside of the island, in the outer boroughs, and that's uh, where we're seeing now, again, as we take a look, Staten Island badly affected by flooding, one of the hardest hit areas here, particularly on the south shore, hundreds of reports of residents in at least two different neighborhoods being forced to head to rooftops of buildings to escape the rising flood waters and there await emergency help. One local official there actually called this scene something out of a war zone. And again, information from Staten Island is only beginning to trickle in as the sun rises on the devastation. We're going to continue to update all of this as we learn more. There's also stuff to get to here in Queens, the Breezy Point area, actually of the Rockaways, where residents have had to deal not just with the rain and wind, but as you see here, the fires, a six alarm fire overnight there. The New York Fire Department saving some 50 homes. They have been destroyed. So many hundreds more, though, in the fire line. 200 firefighters battling this overnight. Overnight's been something very difficult to fight because of the winds and the houses are so closely packed together. In fact, ABC News' Jim DeBrill was on the scene of the fire in Queens, and this is what he described. This is a community that lost the most people during 9-11, the firefighters and cops in, during 9-11. This community was hit horribly tonight. Many here expected that there would be flooding, there would be loss of power, but then this fire just erupted. We were in a home and the fire was literally right across from us. And as this fire just spread, uh, we waded our way to another home and then realized that the parking lot that we were next to, the cars literally started to blow up. And again, the fire continued to spread. Um, it, my understanding, it has spread uh, across about 12 blocks of Breezy Point, an area that they call the Wedge. We thought we were just going to come here and see people that just didn't want to leave. Now they're being forced to leave, not by water, not by flood, not by sandy, but by fire. Again, devastation in Queens. You see here again the areas affected in greater New York.